Hi, it's Carrie Rhodes with CarrieStamps.com. Today's project involves the gel press. I'm going to show you a fun technique using dried paint. That's paint that's dried on your gel press from a previous print and a stencil and white paint. It's going to be lots of fun. So let's check it out. So I've got my gel press here today and you can see that it's covered with paint, but this paint is dry. And I want to try a technique to pick up this dried on paint that's on my gel press. Normally to get this off, I would uh, cover it with a light layer of whipped cream, acrylic paint, brayer it all over and pick up a print. Um, but this paint was just me cleaning off my brayer from my first gel press. And so it's not a, a super pretty thing. And I've got some other dried bits from a previous print under that. And then I've got this print that I made before. And I, it didn't have much going on. So I wanted to try and add some more to it. So what I'm going to do, instead of putting the paint directly onto my gel press, I'm going to take my Artful Wall Stencil and I'm going to lay it on there and then add my whipped cream paint. So this is um, a heavy body or thick acrylic paint from Fun Stamper's Journey and it works great for this technique of picking up that dried paint. You don't need a lot, you actually really want a thin layer it works best for picking up the paint. So I'm just going to put little dots all over. Then I've got my brayer here and I'm just going to spread that paint out. All over covering up my gel press. A scratch paper to clean it off. I'm going to remove the stencil into a pan of water. Take my print that I don't necessarily love and lay that down onto that now wet paint. And you can see I've got little edges that where my eight and a half by 11 gel press sticks out. And I'm just going to use a scratch paper to press down. I really want that dried paint to come up, so I'm really going to make sure I've got good contact between my paper and my wet paint, so I'm pressing down really good. And then I just need to give it a few minutes to dry. This is where you take um, a good lesson in patience when you're waiting for the paint to dry on your gel press. All right, a few minutes has passed. And we're going to go ahead and pull this up and see what we get. It's a surprise every time. All right, so some of this is coming up. And we are getting some added color here. And I am loving it. Sorry. When you're pulling up dried paint like this, it can be a little harder to pull the print off of your paper. So I didn't get a lot right here. But what I did get up, oh, it really added to this uh, mostly white pull. And I love how it has the little flecks in there. That is really cool. And I'm loving what I have here. That is exciting. So I want to go ahead and take advantage of this paint and not waste it and get a print from this. So I've got another print that just doesn't have too much going on. And I thought maybe this would look great with this. So I'm going to give it a try and dress up that print that I don't love too much. And I'm going back with the whipped cream. And I will wear that all over. Again, you want a thin layer. So it's going to stick nicely to that dried paint. And this one's going to be a real surprise to see what we get. I'm excited. That's one thing I just love about doing mono printing is that you never know what you're going to get and every one is unique. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we're going to get. I'm very excited about this one. Oh, 
we got to pull hard to get this one off. Oh man, that is neat. I love it. We had a whole middle section that's not coming off, but I just see that as an opportunity to take another print. <laughs> there we go. So these ones tend to curl up a lot when you let it dry on there. So let me see if I can flatten it out a little bit for you. So that really did liven up my print here. And I think once I cut this up, use it for my cards, it's going to be amazing. So there's a reason to have a second plate. And that's so when you're making prints on one, you can clean your brayer off on another, and then you can let that paint dry and, and pick it up with a stencil and some white paint. And let's see the other one here. I can get that. So I've got two really cool prints that came just from dried paint. And I think once I cut them up, like I said, I'm gonna have some really cool things. So you should stay tuned and see what I'm gonna make with these cute papers. Hi, I'm back with the cards that I made from our stencil and dried paint um, project. So here's the first one. It's from the Day of the Dead stamp set that um, is in our Journey Holidays catalog. And you can see it's kind of a busy card, but just was so much fun to make. I used my color burst pencils to color her in, stamped my own border there. And um, so it's kind of a busy card, but I had lots of fun making it. And this one is a little bit more simple. Check it out. Really showcases that background. And then I have a gold embossed sentiment there. And I'm going to be sending this card out right away. So thanks so much for watching. And I just really encourage you to get out your gel press and play with it. Put some ink on it, brayer it up, and use some cardstock. It's just paint and paper. And you can make some really fun things just by having fun and letting go of that stress of trying to make something perfect. So happy stamping.